Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Holly requests confidentiality about their negotiating in Sonny's office. Sonny has no idea what they are discussing. Diane interrupts, but she quickly backs off when she realizes Sonny is occupied with Holly. Once more alone herself, Holly spills jewels onto Sonny's desk from her bag. If he moves them for her, she promises he won't be able to find them. In return for a sizable share, Sonny says he might be able to assist her. Anna leaves Jason a voicemail outside Robert's office alerting him to Sidwell's recent sighting in Miami. She tells Robert she is aware of Sasha as she walks into his office. While defending Holly, Robert tells Anna that he has already implemented a DNA test. Sasha, though, has his mother's eyes. He wishes to inform Robin first. After stating that Robin has always desired a sibling, Anna departs. Rick informs Trina, her family, and the other guests at the Savoy that Heather is leaving. Rick maintains that he believes she would simply be moved to a more suitable facility rather than being released when they place the burden on him. Curtis accuses him of releasing a killer for financial gain, while Portia screams at him for letting loose a monster and endangering her daughter's life. Blaming her father isn't the solution, according to Molly. Curtis asks, if Rick isn't at fault, then who is? How can Molly defend her father? TJ asks. She responds by saying that she is upholding the law. Rick apologizes profusely to the Ashfords before departing with Molly as TJ storms out. Trina is told by Curtis and Portia that she will be staying with them. Although Trina loves them and values their care, she will never return home. TJ shouts at Rick, who is standing with a defensive Molly at the Savoy, as Trina and Curtis Portia watch. Isaiah questions how Lucas will scrub in on a surgery involving his sister and cousin, but Lucas wants Isaiah to explain the transplant to him in the hospital break room. Lucas was unable to turn Sam away, but he questions Isaiah's motivation. Isaiah informs him that Lucky, his best friend, requested him to, and Lulu will require his assistance if she is to have any chance of surviving. Joss tells Dex about Heather's freedom at his flat after leaving the Savoy. Dex regrets not reaching Brit sooner as they recall, discovering her hurt. She may be alive. Joss questions whether he will ever regret killing Heather. At all times, he acknowledges. He would stop at nothing to protect Joss. Joss is aware that he is the reason she is still alive. He will stop at nothing to maintain it that way. They strip off and make out passionately. At Molly's house, Rick expresses gratitude to his daughter for standing up for him. She simply hopes that he is correct and that Heather can contribute to society. Because Ava Jerome is the reason her baby died, she wants him to abandon her as a client. Rick doesn't think so. He says he's standing up for Ava when Molly pushes back. She reflects his need for vengeance, which frightens him. He doesn't want her to be poisoned by her drive to make Ava pay. As a lawyer, it is his and her father's responsibility to explain the matter such that she will think it was an accident. For her to move on and recover, he must demonstrate this to her. Molly doesn't care that TJ is worried about getting her revenge because she often complains about how empty their relationship and apartment are. She orders him to go. Lucas tells TJ how he and Molly have been drifting apart until he is discovered by himself in the hospital break room. Although tonight was a positive step, they later found out that her father had assisted in Heather's release. Molly vehemently defended Rick with more passion than she had ever displayed during any of their experiences together. Lucas expresses sympathy for the death of a kid and acknowledges that, although he will never be able to return, he occasionally misses Brad. TJ is wondering if he would miss Molly. Although he is unsure of how many more blows they can withstand, TJ does not want to lose Molly. Curtis promises Portia that they will protect their daughter when Trina and the others have left the Savoy. Portia is aware that the legal system doesn't give a damn. She questions whether a serial killer would be at liberty today if his fixation were a young white woman rather than a young black woman. Curtis claims that both of them are aware of the solution, 
Portia them and said black women are not given the same respect as white women. Curtis is aware, but for the time being, they must prioritize Trina's safety. Portia believes that sending her far away from Heather and Port Charles is her only choice. Curtis responds solemnly that it will be Heather who departs the city. When her door is Heather Weber gone, will never flat. cause trouble again. Trina trembles and picks up a mallet. But Gio is the only one who came to see how she was doing after hearing the news. Trina lets it all out about Heather getting away with killing five people and receiving a sizable payment. Gio claims that music is the best way for him to communicate his emotions, and he proposes that she should do the same. He encourages Trina to give it some thought, but she is hesitant. He offers to sleep on the couch as well. For safety, she hands him the mallet. Diane tells Robert that she just had a glimpse of Holly with Sonny. He has heard worse things about her today than that. Since he is bearing all the risk, Sonny approaches Holly for 30% in his office. She claims she will need time to consider her options if her charms prove ineffective as a negotiating strategy. In good faith, she leaves him a diamond as a deposit. Sonny contacts Jason by himself to talk about the business proposal he recently got. Holly arrives at her metro court chamber to see Anna waiting for her. Anna believes that because Holly took something from Sidwell, he is in the United States. She needs the facts, but Anna wants to assist. Holly disputes it. At least she tried, says Anna. She cautions Holly not to approach Robert before she departs so as not to turn him into a target. Since he is bearing all the risk, Sonny approaches Holly for 30% in his office. She claims she will need time to consider her options if her charms prove ineffective as a negotiating strategy. In good faith, she leaves him a diamond as a deposit. Sonny contacts Jason by himself to talk about the business proposal he recently got. Holly arrives at her metro court chamber to see Anna waiting for her. Anna believes that because Holly took something from Sidwell, he is in the United States. She needs the facts, but Anna wants to assist. Holly disputes it. At least she tried, says Anna. She cautions Holly not to approach Robert before she departs so as not to turn him into a target. Since he is bearing all the risks, Sonny approaches Holly for 30% in his office. She claims she will need time to consider her options if her charms prove ineffective as a negotiating strategy. In good faith, she leaves him a diamond as a deposit. Sonny contacts Jason by himself to talk about the business proposal he recently got. Holly arrives at her metro court chamber to see Anna waiting for her. Anna believes that because Holly took something from Sidwell, he is in the United States. She needs the facts, but Anna wants to assist. Holly disputes it. At least she tried, says Anna. She cautions Holly not to approach Robert before she departs so as not to turn him into a target. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.